I'm a friendly face on campus. Um, I could talk to anybody. Uh, my favorite homecoming memory would have to be walking in the parade my freshman year. Um, we spent the whole week building the float and then actually walking alongside of it was really cool. My favorite element of homecoming is, since I am in an organization, getting to know another organization. Maybe that we don't necessarily ha hang out with or talk to all the time, but really getting to make those connections throughout the week. I believe Mortarboard chose me because I am very involved in campus and I stand out as a leader among our leaders in the organization. It would be an honor. Um, it'd be nice to know that my involvement really has shown throughout the, my four years here at UT. My favorite homecoming memory was last year. I was Kai Omega's homecoming chair, so I got to be really involved with building the flow and um, I got to learn a lot about the tradition. Uh, what I love most about homecoming is the sense of pride that we all get to share, all organizations and all students on campus. It's an opportunity for us to all share a, a spirit for our, for our campus and school, so that's awesome. It would mean, it would be awesome to win homecoming queen, but um, it's just an honor to be nominated for it. Um, it would be awesome to represent um, the organizations that I'm involved in on campus um, as queen, but um, yeah, it's just awesome to be nominated. One word when I think of homecoming is pride. I think what sets me apart is definitely um, my perseverance. Um, I, you know, I would be, if I were to be homecoming queen, I would be kind of representing something a lot bigger than myself. I think it would really speak volumes for everybody, no matter who, what their background is, no matter what struggles that they've had, that it can be done, that no matter what challenges you have, um, you can overcome them and achieve your own goals and your own dreams. Being able to represent people, um, our campus and what it means to be a rocket, what it means to overcome challenges and what it means to um, strive in your life, um, that would um, really just mean the world to me to be able to represent those people. Well, I chose UT because both my parents went here, so they always I always grew up knowing about UT since I only lived 15 minutes from the corner down the street. So I would attend all the homecoming games and stuff like that. And also my grandpa played football here. So it's just like a huge like thing in our family to go to the University of Toledo. So it was like no question that I really wanted to come here. And our campus is beautiful, so that's a plus. It would be an honor to be the University of Toledo's homecoming queen. Um, like I said before, I have attended games since I was a kid, so I got to like see homecoming queens and all that and I thought it was like never a possibility. So even being nominated for the core is such a huge honor. It would mean a lot. Um, when they first nominated me, I was like, oh, you know, I never really thought about it. But once I really started to think about it and um, the representation that I do have on campus, I think it would just be really huge to me um, and to the people around me um, that I feel like I represent well. I think what sets me apart from the other candidates that are running um, is, like I said, I am really heavily involved um, and not just in one organization, but in multiple organizations and since I've been here. Um, at UT for the past four years, just being able to be um, versatile and diverse, um, being able to reach out to different people. I think they chose me because I represent Pi Phi really well. Um, I'm involved in a lot of things on campus and I'm a leader within Pi Phi. My favorite homecoming memory has to be last year at homecoming when we beat BG for the seventh time in a row. I think they chose me because this is an organization I've been involved in since my sophomore year and I'm actually the president um, of it this year so I'm really trying to make it a better organization. Oh my gosh, it would mean so much to me. Um, when I first started here at UT, um, one like commitment that I like made to myself was like I was going to get involved and I was going to really make the most out of my campus experience and I think just even being nominated has a really spoken to that, that I, like, is something I have achieved. Um, I know high school me would like not even fathom being nominated for homecoming queens. Uh, to be homecoming queen of the University of Toledo would honestly be like I think the highest form of honor that you can get here because you're representing a great campus and it's just like we're such a diverse campus and I think to be like the queen of something like that would mean so much more to me than many other people because I'm from Toledo and I truly believe in like the 419 base thing and making our community so much better. I think that like what sets me aside from people is even if I don't win, it's just I know that even being nominated was good enough for me because people think that highly of me. 
I think that they chose me out of everyone. Um, well, I do currently serve as their president, and I think that I am someone that all the people in the chapter can definitely look up to um, based on all of my involvement in other organizations on campus. I chose UT because it kind of runs in my family. My dad and my sister both went here, um, and I'm kind of close. Um, I went to high school around here, so I definitely came here to kind of have that same aspect, and my dad and my sister both love the university as well.